Hello, welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. I'm Andras. My name is Taylor. Hello. Today we're going to talk about another interesting topic, and this is the difference between uh, thermal imaging monoculars and thermal imaging binoculars. Now, um, I've gathered some questions that we receive in our emails. We often get questions such as, what is better? Is it better to observe with one eye only? Is it better to observe with two eyes? So, Theodore uh, will help you um, with that issue today. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> so, we're going to start with, uh, with a question that is, what are the differences? Let's start with some physical differences first. Well, with physical differences, if we look, these are, I would say, twin devices. The Accolade from Pulsar and the Helion, uh, Helion from Pulsar. They have the same sensor, the same display, the same uh, electronics, the same resolution and so on. Uh, but, of course, normally there is a difference that with the uh, Helion you only observe with one eye, with the uh, Accolade you observe with both eyes. And if you look in the size, the Accolade is roughly two times bigger. It's a little bit shorter, as you can see, and it normally it has a different way of, uh, of focusing, so it has a central knob, like uh, normal binoculars for focusing, while Helion has a, uh, the, I would say, a ring around the objective for the, for the focusing. Uh, on, the, on the rear part, on the eyepiece, where you just set your diopter setting, it's similar on both of those two devices. You just, you just turn the ring around the, the eyepiece to get the, the proper uh, setting for the diopter. So they work the same, everything is basically the same. The only difference is that in this, in this device with Accolade, you watch with both eyes open, while here you watch only with one eye. Uh, I, would need to check if this one has a, a series of lenses and one screen, so you get a, you get a, the same image on, on both eyes, or if it means that it has two different displays. This is something that I would need to look into it. It's probably even harder to know because if they didn't specify, it's really hard to know. Well, this is the physical difference. Two times bigger, two eyes, everything else is the same. Regarding the use, there is a big difference because you have different ways people wish to use mm -hmm. their thermal devices. Usually for hunters, they observe with one eye, which normally it's adopting uh, its pupil to the, to the display, yeah. which is brightness. Yeah, yeah. Of and then with the another eye, which is more uh, opened because of the low light uh, environment, you use it for shooting and to, to observe through the, through the rifle scope. So this is one way how people are using and those people who are using uh, their devices uh, in this fashion, they usually prefer monoculars. Of course. Yeah. Because they say, okay, I, I watch with binoculars, I get a really bright image and then I put the binoculars away during the night normally and I don't see anything. Because so you would have to wait a couple of seconds for the eye to adapt to yeah. the surrounding lighting in order for this to work. But and when you're yeah. older and when your eyesight is not perfect anymore, those couple of seconds become Please, yeah. 30 seconds <laughs> or more. So this is one way how you're able to look at it. The other way is that a lot of people get really confused if one eye is getting a really bright image while the another eye is getting really a low light image with almost no light at all. So this is where the binoculars like this Accolade are much better because First of all, it's normal for, uh, for a human being to observe with both eyes open. So it is much more comfortable to have the same image on both eyes. And this is the reason why most of the customers which are buying the, the thermal binoculars, they say that they get confused with thermal monoculars. Because only one eye gets the light, the other mm -hmm. one don't. And it can be confusing, it can be even disorientating. So for those, it's better to have the same image on both eyes and then wait for a couple of seconds that, so that the eyes uh, adopt and then use a, a, let's say, a normal low light rifle scope uh, of classical build. Um, at the end, it's all, it goes all down to the preference. For myself, I, I see the image nicer when I'm looking at it with more, both eyes. 
It also yeah. looks a little bit more comfortable. I can see you can yeah. set the in interpupillary distance yeah, here. Yeah, I think it's still doing like, like this. Yes, and so uh, you can rest yeah. it against uh, your eyes and yeah. it it's definitely it's more def comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. So, but on the other hand, some people still prefer to use it like with one eye for, uh, for thermal, the other eye for conventional optic. Of course. So for those, this device is not the most suitable, but still for, I would say, majority of people, this is the more comfortable way of looking uh, through the thermal optics. Um, Normally at the end, which is not a physical difference, but it is a difference, is in pricing. Usually these devices are more expensive than, than monoculars because you have either two screens or a whole system of lenses uh, so that you get one screen on, two, on both eyes. Um, so this is the difference, even though I have to say that with thermals, with thermal devices, the difference in price is smaller than with analog Gen 2 Plus, with Gen 2 Plus devices. Because Gen 2 Plus devices, then if you have a monocular, you have one uh, image intensifying tube. If you have a binocular, you have two tubes. So that means automatically that the price doubles. Course, you have yeah. two lenses and you have everything doubled. Here. With thermals, you still have a front, only one lens, and then the electronics does everything else. So the price is not two times, but it's 20, 30 percent higher, not more. <laughs> with, uh, with the analog binoculars, it's two times immediately or even more because even the central uh, system for positioning of both tubes is usually complex and so on. So there is some price increase uh, if you go for binoculars compared to monoculars but it's smaller than if you will speak about the analog Gen 2 Plus devices of these two types. What about uh, optically? Namely, let's say uh, the resolution. Is there a difference in resolution? No. In the resol basically, these are the same devices. So, so it, optically, if, yeah. Yeah, if it has the same sensor, normally, because you have a couple of different models in the Acrolyte series, you have a couple of different models in the Kilion series. So if you look at the same model, if you look at the model with the same sensor, with the same display, then you have the same optical, uh, optical properties. It also has the same recording functions, the same... Uh, ability to adjust the um, contrast, the brightness, and so on, the gain, uh, not the gain, uh, but you can adjust electronically the image and which color palette you wish to have and so on. So everything is the same, but uh, some people do see better on both eyes than only on one eye. And this is completely subjective, so that means it's completely from person to person, but for my, myself personally, I see better with two eyes than with one eye. Even though for hunting, some people say this is much easier. You use your left eye for thermal and then your right eye for shooting. So it depends on the preference at the end. Yeah. And of course on the, on the price tag. Of if course. You, uh, if you're willing to spend 20 or 30% more because it will be easier for you to, to do observation with both eyes open. Thank you. So um, I, think, I think we covered it. If you yeah. would like to know uh, more about thermal light vision, it, and differences between analog, digital, we all we have videos of that, mm -hmm. check our YouTube channel. Uh, if you have any additional questions on this topic, you can leave a comment down in the comment section. You can also send us an email and we'll be glad to reply to it. Also, if you like the video, hit like and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, of course. See you guys next time. Bye. Thank you. Bye.